Trump's last full day in office. Joining us with more on this is KUSI contributor and AM760 radio host, Mr. Mark Larson. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Final 24 hours to, well, tomorrow, and we'll see what the day holds. So that means his pen will be busy, will it not? Should be. He did uh, three executive orders yesterday. Uh, Biden's going to do a whole bunch of executive orders in the next few days, including right after swearing in tomorrow. I expect probably 12, maybe more. Uh, those would be interesting. It'd be everything from uh, getting rid of the Keystone XL pipeline, which has created a lot, a lot of jobs. So, you know, you can make the case killing some jobs at the start. But we can talk about that in a second in terms of some of the executive orders. First things first, Trump is still in power until nine o'clock our time tomorrow when the swearing in happens and Trump's not gonna be there, he'll be winging his way to Florida. Um, the pardons today, there could be as many as 100. He's had something like 13,000 plus requests, uh, and that's not unusual in terms of requests in the thousands, but that's a big number for him. So when, when you say, well, he did a bunch before Christmas and then everything kind of went on hold, especially around what happened in the Capitol January 6th, um, 100 more today is not gonna put him in like the leading uh, pardons and commutations uh, uh, crowd on Capitol Hill. Obama did almost uh, like 1,800. That was over two terms, but you can do the math. Uh, Mark, I guess the CD side of pardons is they can off, they can be bought, they can be purchased. Can they not? Well, yeah. Well, here's you, you know this is the way it works. It's legal. Presidents get to bless certain donors that got into trouble. I mean, Trump already has done that with uh, Paul Manafort, uh, who was his campaign manager for a bit, and that whole Ukraine deal. Uh, Charles Kushner, the father of Jared Kushner, um, even even here locally, Duncan D. Hunter and wife Margaret got uh, pardons for Christmas. So these things happen. Pardons and commutations, and there's there's a difference. But uh, you know, overall, that's. Uh, without getting into the weeds what this is about. Now today, the drama is, will he pardon members of his own family? He can. Will he pardon himself, which would be weird. Uh, no one's done that. Kind of reminds you of somebody, you know, a dictator in a country where you crown yourself king and say, wow, I'm really fantastic. But there's a debate as to whether that's necessary. What's different this time, as you know, with Trump, the other side of the aisle is looking to get a pound of flesh wherever they can in the court there in the southern part of New York and just keep this thing going, including impeachment. So does he pardon Jared Kushner and uh, and the rest of the family? Does he uh, go to does he pardon some of the <laughs> All right, well, we're going to give you a chance. <laughs> I think I'm back. I'm back. Mark Larson, wait, let's, there he is. What, the, the cat I'm knock back. over your laptop? No, I've got a new mount, and it just it did this during the run-up. That was, that was fantastic. So I'll, I'll do it the old-fashioned okay. way by hand. Well, you, like, you, you were saying... You were saying about pardoning the family. With the, yes. So you have uh, the questions today. Does he pardon Giuliani, for example? That might be a good call, possibly, um, in, in terms of just sparing the nation. You know, that, that drama. There are others saying, no, no, if he is culpable for something, got to get it. But getting back to how well, you can buy these. There have been people, you know, uh, Mark Rich and uh, uh, his wife back to uh, Clinton. Uh, the road is littered with a lot of that. And often pardons are done and commutations are done to spare the nations. Like Gerald Ford did that with Nixon back in the day um, to, to uh, have our long national nightmare be over. So we'll see how this plays out today. And then, of course, uh, no matter what he does today, and he, he had uh, a lot of executive orders, not, not really more than uh, some other presidents have for one term, but those will be undone uh, right after swearing in tomorrow when Biden starts getting back to the Paris Accord and some of the other issues that are happening as well. Well, you, if I could just ask one question about pardoning the family and pardoning himself, you yeah. know, normally just getting the president out of office would be victory enough for the opposing party. But what, you know, just listening to the sound bites from Nancy Pelosi and listening to the sound bites from the AOC crowd, hmm. I, I don't think him being out of office is going to be the end of it. I, the, I think that no, they will pursue. Absolutely not. Because, because he's not, Trump's not going to go away. Um, you know, he can't go on Twitter now, but there will be ways he'll create something new. If, if they think he's just going to go off and do what previous presidents, especially Republicans, have done, just go quiet for a while. That was a frustration with Bush 43 when Obama came in and kept saying, you know, we inherited a big mess. There will be a lot of that from Biden, but Trump's not going to take that quietly. And uh, we'll see. The big push now is impeachment continues. I mean, he was impeached twice. They want to hang that on him. They did. But will he be convicted? Not likely in the Senate. Will that happen after? That, that'll really kick into gear in the Senate tomorrow. Where does that go? That's 
unusual and yes, even weird as well. So no, the beat will keep on going with that. Biden's going to come in and, and sign a, uh, what's one of the executive orders, the face mask mandate tomorrow. Right. Now we know that even though people think that that's just all encompassing, we're, we're already doing it in California and have since June, that the, um, you know, this is only on federal property. And then when you're doing interstate travel, so if you go into a courthouse after he signs that, Biden, then, okay, you got to wear a mask. We kind of already do. But then interstate travel, how do we have mask police at the borders? What does that look like? And then, the, you know, in the middle of that is the $1.9 trillion relief package to get more money and stimulus, which will be debated as well. But, you know, Biden's going to do that kind of thing. Watch the day after the inauguration. Watch every other day. There will be many more executive orders undoing things that Trump fans have loved along the way and the other side's loathed. It's how it works. Executive orders get done when you can't get legislation through or you need to do something quickly. Mr. Mark Larson, let's get that <laughs> mount fixed. And, uh, well, no, it was <laughs> fixed. It, just, it was so ready for so long. It just said, okay, I'm taking a dive. I think it was a union mount. Yeah. Just decided to <laughs> oh, Mr. <laughs> Mark Larson, thank you. We'll listen to you on the radio on 760 this morning. Yeah, All right. We will yeah. have more.